Hello everyone, welcome back to 2230. Today, we've got a rather unusual and dramatic incident to discuss. It involves an Immigration and Checkpoints Authority, ICA, officer at the Woodlands Checkpoint in Singapore who had an encounter with a defiant driver. As always, don't forget to hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comments, and of course, subscribe for more engaging content like this. So, on December 14, 2023, the Straits Times and Shin Min Daily News reported an incident where an ICA officer stopped a car at the Woodlands checkpoint. Why? Well, it turns out the car's fuel tank was filled below the stipulated three-quarters level required for Singapore registered vehicles departing to Malaysia. Yes, you heard that right, there's a three-quarters tank rule in place. Now, the ICA officer, in the line of duty, instructed the driver, a 38-year-old Singaporean named Steve Ling Wei Liang, to hand over his passport, park the car, and follow him to the ICA duty office. Seems straightforward, right? But here's where things take a wild turn. Instead of complying, Mr. Ling reportedly refused to abide by the officer's instructions. In a bizarre turn of events, he accelerated his car, dragging the ICA officer along with it for several meters. Can you believe that? It's like something out of an action movie, but unfortunately, it's a real-life incident. The car, apparently, also posed a danger to pedestrians and other vehicles in the area, nearly causing additional accidents. According to the Straits Times, the ICA officer suffered bodily pain and was later conveyed conscious to the hospital with superficial knee injuries. Now, here's the legal twist, Steve Ling Wei Liang has been charged in court with a rash act causing hurt to the ICA officer. He is expected to plead guilty on January 25, 2024. And, folks, if he's convicted, he may face up to a year in jail, a fine of up to 5,000 Singapore dollars, or even both. Quite a hefty price for not adhering to the three-quarters tank rule, wouldn't you say? Speaking of which, let's discuss this rule a bit. Since the reopening of the Singapore-Malaysia land borders in 2022, the three-quarters tank rule has been actively enforced. It mandates that Singapore-registered vehicles must have at least three-quarters of the tank filled before departing to Malaysia through the land checkpoints. Failure to comply with this rule can result in a composition sum of up to $500 Singapore dollars or even prosecution in court. And here's a little trivia for you, motorists caught violating this rule can be instructed to turn away from the land checkpoints. Now, what are your thoughts on this incident? Do you think the penalties are justified, or do you believe there should be more leniency in such cases? Let me know in the comments below. And, of course, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe for more intriguing updates. This is 2230, signing off. Stay safe, everyone.